The very first A320 NEO to take to the skies has a serial number MSN6101. Makes the achievement even more remarkable is that the program was launched just four years ago in early 2010 and it will go into service late next year. In the aviation industry, that is fast. In the space of just four years, Airbus has managed to provide a technologically advanced aircraft that has proven so popular, it's now the fastest selling aircraft in the company's history. If Airbus has managed to turn the NEO into reality so quickly, it's thanks to the company's incremental or continuous innovation right across the final assembly line from the day the very first A320 flew right up to the current moment. You could say every new development on the FAL has been a building block leading up to the A320neo. The first A320 went into service in 1988 and since then Airbus has invested a staggering 300 million euros a year to ensure the program continues to maintain its innovative lead in the industry. Even before the NEO version was launched, in the last decade alone, the A320 had introduced new satellite navigation technology which increased safety, while engine improvements has reduced fuel burn and maintenance costs. The flight range of the A320 has increased and more seating space added. Both have helped airlines reduce their running costs even further. For the passengers, onboard communications technology meant mobile phone and live TV access in the air. It takes roughly a month to complete an A320 on the assembly line. MSN 6101 emerged from the Toulouse final assembly line into broad daylight in July this year. With its fresh coat of paint, it began ground tests while the crew were preparing for the first flight on a simulator. And just three months on, everyone is ready for the first flight. Staying leaders in the single aisle market takes a lot of hard work and fresh challenges, but you could say innovation is in Airbus's DNA.